everybody. This is Pat O'Connor, your Director of Virtual Operations here at St. Catherine Drexel Parish, and happy Friday. So first of all, I wanna start off by saying thank you because uh, I, re I had so many emails uh, asking how my arm was doing after my little mishap last week on the ladder, uh, and it's healing nicely. Um, the last of the bruises is gone, and uh, this is my new friend. The uh, doctor fitted me for this because apparently my ACE bandaging skills are not that great. Uh, and if anybody misbehaves, it makes a great weapon. So I got it. The one thing that kind of surprised me is, is the few people that I asked, nobody recognized this little figurine uh, that I had used for my recreation. So I'm gonna have a, a trivia contest this week. The first person that can identify who this is and what television show he was on, that's a hint, uh, gets a fabulous prize. Now, I can tell you that one person has already guessed, and the answer is not a boy who said, when I grow up, I want to be a music minister. Nope, not him. Uh, but I will tell you that he was on a claymation show, um, that God was always watching, and the show was not just for Lutherans, and he had a friend that was also on the show. Um, if you can guess correctly, by noon today, your fabulous prize will be you get to be first online for confession once we open up again. Now, is that not worth trying for? Okay, and no Googling because God is watching. So I wanted to share with you a few uh, statistics and facts about uh, the finances of the parish because, you know, I have to talk about money. Um, but it's, uh, again, you know, just warms my heart uh, at the response of everybody. Um, in, the, in the words of a New Yorker, you know, I'm verklempt uh, because uh, I've talked about enrolling in Faith Direct. And since the shutdown, our enrollment has increased by 10%, both the numbers of families and dollars, actually over 10%. So we now have uh, about 325 families that are enrolled in electronic giving. Uh, that makes a huge difference in being able to budget and be able to know what we can do as far as covering the operations of this parish. Uh, I also want to say that, you know, people continue to bring food to the food bins. People continue to drop off their envelopes. Our collection is uh, not at what it was before the shutdown on a weekly basis, but it's it's within a thousand or two of, of where it was. And again, that that far exceeds my expectations. I'm so sorry I underestimated you, Parish. Um, but uh, you know, please, please keep it going because because this is going to make the difference. Uh, we are even once we are able to hold mass in the church, things are not going to be normal for a long time. So we're going to have to do a lot of different uh, uh, jury rigging of facilities and technology and. Uh, the staff is all going to be you working at full capacity to make sure that happens. So, so you know, the, your your contributions um, will be able to support that, and and I I personally very much appreciate it, as I know everyone here does. Um, I also wanted to say that I made a video what three or four weeks ago saying that Easter was coming, that our normal collection is between nineteen and twenty thousand dollars, and I didn't think we'd come anywhere near that this year. Well, we're over $16,000 in our Easter collection. Again, you know, you proved me wrong. So <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry I underestimated you. Um, this is an amazing parish. The people in this parish, each and every one of you make a difference, whether it's in financially supporting us or your prayers, your, your notes of support. I and mean, every single staff person here has gotten tremendous notes of support from, from the parishioners, as has Father Keith. And that just that makes all the difference to us, uh, you know, working here throughout the shutdown. We heard from a couple of parishioners this week who had received their government stimulus checks. And they said to us, we really don't need them, we're doing okay. We want to donate them to a family in need, uh, which got us thinking, that's a great idea. So we've created the Needy Family Fund, uh, which will go to support 
uh, parish families that are struggling at this time who may have lost their jobs uh, or reduced income and are, are having trouble getting food on the table. We're going to be purchasing grocery store gift cards to support these families and your donations will fund the purchase of those gift cards. So if you've received a stimulus check and, and want to donate it um, because you're doing okay like these other parishioners are, that's wonderful. Uh, just drop off a check or mail it in and note Needy Family Fund in the memo line. And if you know of families that need this kind of support, uh, parishioners that, who are struggling, please let us know. Um, Teresa Anderson is coordinating this and so contact her, let her know, and she will make sure that those families do get supported. And again, thank you so much for continuing to help those in need. In his Catherine Connection last week, Father Keith mentioned that we will be live streaming Mass this coming weekend. Saturday at 5 p.m., uh, our Mass will be live streamed and then you can also watch it on YouTube uh, at later times as well. The effort going into making this happen uh, primarily was tackled by Daniel Owens and Stuart Henderson to make sure all the worship aspects were in place and that the technology was working correctly. So kudos to them for, for all of those efforts. I also wanted to mention from my financial perspective that there may be folks that are watching this uh, mass that may not even be from, from this area or from St. Catherine Drexel Parish. We want to give them the opportunity to support us. Uh, so at the end of mass, uh, folks tuning in will have the opportunity to text to give to St. Catherine Drexel Parish by texting to a phone number an amount that they want to donate. And that way we give them the opportunity, if they've enjoyed the worship experience, uh, to be able to support us as well. So thanks so much for watching and I hope that everyone has a great weekend. Enjoy the live streamed mass over the weekend. Stay safe and we look forward to seeing you soon.